It is the final clash of round 10 as the Guardians of the Crib keep up the fight, trying to keep up pace with the top four teams in the Global Rugby Challenge. Today, they take on the Saracens, whose season, well, it was over weeks ago. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Global Rugby Challenge, otherwise known as the Subscriber Series. This series, where you guys take the field against the world's elite and of course against each other. Today the Saracens are at home and they are taking on the fifth place Guardians of the Crib. Before the Saracens, their season is effectively already down the toilet, down in 12th position, sporting just one win from their matches so far. And you look through all of their performances, they've been fairly poor losses. Most recently, they took on two of the other subscriber sides, the All Flakes and the Pacific Toa, going down 38-0 and 35-7, respectively, to those two sides. It is a long way back for this team to get any sort of respectability, but today, they've got a chance to really ruin the Guardian season. You look to this team on paper and it's very strong and it is right out there with some of the world's best club sides. But they just have not performed here in the GRC. Figalo, George, Lamasatili, the front row, Skelton and Cruz in the second row, Ray Rhodes and Vully Puller make up the back three. Moving into that back line, Spencer and Farrell, that is a great combination in the halves. Brad Barrett and Elliot Daly in midfield, Sean Maitland on the left wing, Alex Lewington on the right and of course at the back, Alex Good as well. It is a name stacked Saracen side, but let's see if they can get the job done out there on the green, green grass. And trying to make sure there's no banana skins on that green, green grass will be the Guardians of the Crib. This is a must win. Can't afford to slip up game here for them if they're going to keep up that chase with the top four sides. They sit fifth so far. Six wins and two losses in this season and they have looked well worth their money to be there or thereabouts near the playoffs time. Most recent results have been a couple of good victories too against the Crusaders back around eight, 23 points to 10 and then in round nine straight after that they took on Clermont and beat them fairly comfortably 18 to 7 in a low scoring affair. Today they had to get their boots on and put some points on the board. They're starting 15 for tonight. Oliver Bowers, Bay Southwick, Funga, and Isaac Vasure will be 1, 2, and 3. Viggo Ogier and Alien Knight will lock it up in the middle of the pack. And then Daniel Vera, James Winyama, and Kieran Jones will be the back row. Lewis Gardner and Don Butler will combine together in the halves with Louis Evans and Tom Guest in the midfield. Asher Antonio continues his good work on the left wing with Captain Heston Gardner out there on the right. And Pedro Luz will line up at fullback in the beautiful pink headgear. The Guardians with statements to be made here tonight against the Saracens. The two sides are ready for kickoff. It'll be the Guardians of the Crib, of course, in the white and blue up against Saracens. In the straight right kicks tonight. It's underway we go. Final match of round 10. And a big one as well for the season. As early on, we've got an advantage to the Guardians of the Crib. A forward pass pretty much the first phase from George Cruz. And that will give possession back to the visiting side. Crouch. Wow. Fine. Not the start that Saracens would have wanted by any stretch of the imagination. Sit. They got the ball, they got a bit of possession. But how quickly they've thrown that away. Oh, but they get it back though. Big scrum by the Saracens pack. And they will have it on their side. Waiting is Billy Bully Puller. Number eight on his back. He leaves for Spencer. Farrell gets it to the rise and goes straight to the boot. Just gets it inside the sidelines. And finds touch just a 10 or 15 metres up the field. Very, very obvious game plan here by Saracens right off the whistle. They've gone for territory, but they've not even made it into the 22. Here's my thunder to throw, and oh, that's not straight. It's a comedy of errors straight away from the Guardians of the Crib. And this is turning into a massive opportunity now for Saracens to put points on the board. They won't have the option here, line out or scrum. Crouch. And they've opted yet again Fine. for that scrum that served them so well just a couple of minutes Six. ago. Now they'll look to back it up and hopefully this time they'll look to run. Fed nicely from Spencer yet again and another good scrum by Saracens. Spencer delivers, double cutout pass straight out to Daly. One more to Maitland. Maitland takes on his man, goes high to the sky, cuts back the bomb. They're all there, five minutes out, Maitland finds it to the outside. Try, Alex Lewington will score and Saracens hit the lead. What a try, but the play 
from Sean Maitland. Absolutely spectacular here from the former Crusader. Up he goes, very high, reclaims it himself, draws in the defender and finds his winger out there on the right. And the Saracens get the job done perfectly to start off. Well, winger to winger, brilliant stuff from Sean Maitland. Deserved it all himself, but will get nothing but the assist. And that is one hell of a way to start this game. Here is on Farrell to convert it, to put the icing on the top of the cake, and he does just that. Great kick from Owen Farrell. And it is Saracens who may be surprisingly lead this one seven points to nil over the Guardians of the Crypt. Wow, this is a start that no one would have expected, but a couple of errors from the Guardians very early on gave a massive opportunity for Saracens to strike, and strike they did very well too. And a big turnover. Oh, how rapid is that? Here's Asher Antonio. Support on his inside. He doesn't use it. Very good defense to the back from Alex Good. But Antonio had a rampaging with Yama on the inside. Couldn't find him, couldn't use him, couldn't finish the deal. And these two sides have already shown they are very keen to throw the ball around. There's a big turnover there from Elliot. No, it's a straight the line. It's a try with Yama. He gets it anyway. Should have scored it a minute ago, but he'll get it at a second time of asking. It almost broke down there as Louis Evans took the line on. It was a turnover from Elliot Knight of the lineouts. That's where it all sparked. Great take just in front of George Cruz. So look at this charging. Oh, forward pass. Surely the call there. James Minyama gets the try. The referee wants none of it. Take a look at this. The big charge, Louis Evans. Bang. Heavy resistance. James Minyama come back, but so was Evans traveling backwards in the tackle. And the ball just squirts out the side. And we are going on with it. Try to the Guardians and try to James Winyama. The conversion attempt is successful as you would expect. Lewis Gardner knocks it over. The goal kicking extraordinaire. Number nine, number 10, number 12, number 15. You put them where you like in this back line. Lewis Gardner gets the job done. He's got another two points to his name as well for the Guardians as we get back underway. A deep kick here is a try scorer. Offloads nicely to Daniel Vera. And they find a little room out here. Wait, Thunder with a bit of space and a charging run down the left. Sets the Guardians up just short of their own 10 meter line. It's a struggle of a ball to get back. But Antonio does have it. They have another run now. Nelly Knight nicely linking up beautifully with Vigo Ogier. And eventually, Tom Guest is the one to drive it up towards halfway. Bell is away to all. This is a great run from Kieran Jones. Thought he might have been gone there. Didn't quite put the accelerator down. Ogier again. That's a big tackle. We go Ogier. Goes backwards. Now they swing it to the right. Gardner. Options there for Elliot Knight who tries to play the power game. Stopped on the halfway line. Winyama, another go there from the open side flanker. And Daniel Vera's right there, but turned over. Alex Good, the fullback up on the line, doing some damage to the breakdown, but the Guardians fight straight back. It's another turnover. Wow, this is topsy turvy rugby. It's a kick away from Lewis Gardner. Crossfield it goes. It's a bit of a struggle here for Lincoln. He's got open space in front of him. Alex Lincoln beats one. Hit hard in the second tackle. And it goes just into touch. Boy, oh boy, he looked up there and he saw a plenty, a lot of open field in front of him. And went for a good old scamper as we near the half an hour mark in this clash. It is only seven all, and there's a turnover. Will Skelton at the front. Nice. Steals it for Saracens. Now they've got a chance to run it. Michael Rhodes gets it away into Brad Barrett, who puts the ball to the boots. And back there is Heston Garner. Inside he goes, and a big tackle on Tom Guest. Driven backwards on the 22 here, the Guardians. I want to be careful as Vera finds out at night, and he's been strong tonight. But he's lost the ball. Big turnover and a drop goal. What a crack, and it's over. Snap drop goal from Alex Good up in the line again. He makes the pay. 
That is twice now he's got a rough turnover. This time, he pivots back, puts over a wobbly drop goal. It didn't look pretty at all, but they all count as it just, just snuck inside the right-hand upright. Six to play till half time now, and it is Saracens who lead the Guardians. Ten points to seven. Big tackle on Farrell. Got to be a turnover with the Guardians here. Big play coming up. Oh, but they hang on, Saracens. Very well. George goes back, and it's kicked away from Barrett again. Another big thumper. It looks good, actually. Up on the line again, Alex Good. He is taking a lot of responsibility in this team. Way Thunga to throw. Three minutes to play till the halftime break. This is tense and tight as you can ever get it. Do you want to think it's fifth versus twelfth at this rate? Here's a little chip ahead from the Gardner. Oh, ho, 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 yes. That is a steaming kick from Lewis Gardner. Just inside the sidelines. And nothing good could do about that. Now the pressure must go on this line out. The Guardians, they'll want to strike before the break. Can the Saracens hold them out? Throw comes in. George Cruz to the front. He's got that all day long. And it's a bit of a wobbly old run out there from Spencer. He's been wrapped up, though. This could be a turnover late in the half. Oh, this could be it for the Guardians. Pick and go for Oliver Bowers. And he stopped. Here's Garner again. Antonio. Whoa, that's a great pass. Oh, high tackle. Some brilliant rugby there from the Guardians. But it's a high tackle from Tizzi Lama Satili. And another chance. Do they take three or do they try and score a try? They're going for touch. Well, they're just going to end the half here. They're just going to end the half. That is a terrible call. Absolute shocking call from Eston Gardner, the captain. They were on the front foot going forward. Why not at least take three? They've missed out on a big chance there to tie it up with a break. But they have been the better side. The Guardians up on possession and territory almost 60-40 on the both of them. But still, they trail at the break. They've had less defending to do, more attacking. Everything has gone their way by that little indiscretion at the start where they completely were off the boil. Since then, though, one-way traffic, the Guardians in control. Well, who's seen this sort of result coming at the halftime break? It's Alex Good getting us back underway. A nicely taken from the captain, Hester Gardner. And he is supported very quickly there from James Winyama. It's slow coming back now. But eventually, it is Lewis Gardner who gets back to it. Daniel Vera, well, he's... That was taken back inside the 22. So that is going to be a bit of an error there from the blindside flanker. We will come all the way back to where he kicked it from and that is a shocker why would you pass back to your number six to do that sort of job doesn't matter though when you got Elliot Knight in your line now you're just stealing straight back big turnover for the Guardians Tom Gears now out to Asher Antonio gets the wheels rolling didn't look like it get away brilliant passing Kieran Jones back to Gears back into the middle of the park for a big man Isaac for sure up to the 22 passes away and a try for Tom again and they take the lead for the first time tonight it looked ominous and it looked like it was always going to get over the line big run here from Isaac for sure he had the big legs pumping and when he got caught up he knew he had their support Tom Butler on his shoulder gave it to his fly half but this was beautiful rugby from start to finish didn't let the ball die, kept it alive, took out defenders and used the full width of the field. Great try, Guardians. And now they're in the ascendancy. Now they're in control. And now I expect they'll step it up again. Well, that was one way to get the crowd on their feet. Some very entertaining rugby from the Guardians as we nearly hit the 50-minute mark and they take the lead. And they extend it out to four points as well. Lewis Gardner doing the job. Flawless night with the boot once again. And now the pressure goes back on the Saracens. How do they respond? They've had the lead or tied up for all of this match so far. Never have they trailed it. And as history will tell us, they're not very good at trailing games. Here is James Winyama. Back it goes to Tom. Guess his room. Here's the Gardner. So many wide jumpers on the inside. He finds one as well. And it's Tom Guess. He started it all. Tom Guess finishes the job. 
want to try again. Straight off the kickoff. Tom Gibson hits the Gardner. Take a bow. The Guardian's in control. Shut the gate. Turn off the lights and say goodnight. The Saracens are done. Well, now they chase the bonus points to the Guardians. That was an absolutely superb try. James Winyama took it down, but look at how Eastern Gardner held up play there. He knew he had all those white jumpers on the inside. You could see them ranging to his left. But did he have the ability to flick that pass on the inside? You know what? You better believe he did. It was a cracker. It was on the money. And it was another five points or two. The Guardians slow starters here tonight. But by now, you can see they have hit their straps. Here is Lewis Gardner with another shot at two. And he does not miss from there. 21 points to 10. The Guardians dominating, but more importantly, leading Saracens as we get through this final match of round 10. Well, contrasting halves, hasn't it been? Alex Good and Amy said numerous times that first half turnovers, uh, drop goals, everything you can dream of. Heels of Wilds, there's another chance. And it's James Winyama thundering down the right hand wing again. Numbers on his inside. Could not find them though. He didn't have the ability Advantage. to fly the pass. And now the Saracens straight through the middle. Michael Rhodes. Oh, that was the chance. The referee calls it back for a forward pass. And now the luck is changing. Crouch. Find. Well, this game has Sit. certainly stepped it up again. How will it finish? 21 10, the lead is 11. We've got just over 20 to play. And the Saracens again dominating the scrum. Third time tonight, they have demolished the Guardians. Owen Farrell fires it out wide. Lewington tries to take on this man, but Antonio equal to the task. Even Pedro Luz is up there. Trouble in the back. They cover nicely. Here's a nice little play from Jackson Ray. Finding room out there for a charging run. Oh, the high tackle. Pedro Luz, well, he was out of position. He's come flying across and put that one around the chops. It was a great run from Jamie George. Oh, and they're going for the corner. They are going for the gauntlet now, Saracens. I thought they might have taken the three. But when you break it down and you look at the situation here, they trail by 11. Two tries, at least one conversion, and they lead again. Now's the time to strike. And here is Jamie George. Throws lost to the front. That's a big turnover there from Big O OGA. And straight out it goes to Butler, who hammers this down to halfway. Good chase by Kieran Jones as well. As now the Saracens get rumbling. Oh, this is good. Jackson Ray once more takes him up to the 22. Please. He's been in fine form tonight as the blindside flanker. It's Daly. Pops it short to Farrell. Oh, he's hammered as well. Backwards. Goes the Englishman. Opens up the side. Barrett has to go up the line. Nice. Ray waits for it. He goes, no, he doesn't go short side. He goes back to Farrell, and there's a big gap. Lover Cecilia has another crack. Hard runner. Waiting for it now. Rhodes again goes back. Farrell is involved in everything. Sits up for Woody Puller. Now on the 22, Ryan center field. 10 minutes to play. They've got to score a try. Barrett out to Farrell. Oh, he's got a bit of room here. They get it to Lewington. They do. Lewington down the right hand tracks. He's got a one man to beat. It's Pedro Lewis. He won't get past him. And the Guardians pile it in. Numbers for the breakdown. Huge turnover. The way it goes and kicked away from Louis Evans. And a quick throw in here. Well, who else to get involved there? But Alex Good, he tried to do something special. But the defence wrapped him up, isolated and threw him into touch. They've been strong tonight, have Saracens. They really have lifted their game for this one. Way fun to throw. Just inside their own half, the Guardians. OGA pulls down. But it's Gardner, he's knocked it on. Well, the dream lives on here for Saracens. Can they get at least a bonus point, maybe? Slipping it back inside. Oh, Farrell, yet another carry for the fly half. 40 metres back now. They've got to make something work. George goes short. And another strong carry. A straight through the middle for Buddy Puller. Now they wait for it at the back. Another pick and go. It's the back inside. And we're going back for the knock on. I thought there was a hint of a forward pass. 
But it is a knock on from Lewis Crouch. Garner that we will Fine. stack down for. Set. Ben Spencer to feed. Well, time is up. This is the final opportunity for the Saracens to strike. Bonus point on the line. Can they do it? Can they get some respectability back? Here's Barron. Big pass wide. Midfield of Daly. Slips it back in field. They go out again. Jackson Ray. Oh, there's numbers here. Farrell on his inside. Made it to a slant. Oh, he finds neither. He finds no one. But they do recycle the ball well, though. Sits up. And they go through Barron. Through the middle of the park of Elliot Daly. The centre partnership combining nicely. Farrell plays half, gets it away to Barrett, nicely finding width of the ball, George Cruz, out wide and they go, nearly to Lewington, now they get it to Lewington, one to go again, but a big tackle from Pedro Luz. But are there, Juan Fagalo was on the touchline, here's a pick and go, they find out, Cruz again in midfield, nice offline finding to Barrett. Oh, turned over from the Guardians, and it's a touch, it'll go. Bonus point to nine, and the Guardians will canter home with a comfortable win in the end. Boy, oh boy, that was some fixture. Let me tell you, coming into this at fifth versus 12th, six wins, two losses versus one win and seven losses. This was chalk and cheese, two very different sides, but the Saracens, boy, oh boy, they come to play tonight and they put on quite the performance, but ultimately for them, no points, not a single bonus or nothing. The one try, Alex Lewington picked it up. Oh, Farrell, the conversion, and of course, Alex Good, the drop goal for the Guardians. James with Yama, Dom Butler, and Tom Guest picking up one apiece. And it was, of course, the kicking boots of Lewis Gardner that put all three conversions over the posts. A quick look at the stats where the Guardians dominated this game, didn't you? If you look at these stats, you say this was the Guardians winning it by 20, 30, 40 points. In actual fact, it was only 11. It was close, it was tight, it was exciting. Saracens even made more line breaks. That tells you quite a story. And we, of course, are all for storytelling here on the channel. It's a great story to be telling this one of the Global Rugby Challenge. We can see still at the top, nothing has changed. The Jaguares still sit number one the two-point buffer and remember a game in hand against the Pacific Tower who sits second on 10 games played but on 38 points. For the back another three we've got the Flakers who still have a game in hand against the Tower as well so potentially they could be the second place side when the Tower have had the bye. The Guardians of the Crib now they jump up to 31 points a chance now they could attack those top three places if they have leapfrog the Celtic Dragons based on points differential you see them there over the Dragons, 93 points to 53, but both on 31 overall. The All Flakes, well, it was a horrid start to this season for the back-to-back -back defending champions, but they've recovered nicely now. Five wins, four losses on 26 points. You can see there's a big factor in the season. It's the fact that the guys like the Toa, the Flakers, and the All Flakes have all picked up six or seven bonus points, which does make a huge difference compared to the Guardians and the Dragons, who have only picked up three. That is a whole result blown away. If you lose a game, but you pick up four bonus points during the season, count it up as a win, because that's how the season can change. For the rest of the sides, though, the Crusaders still with a chance at top six. Leicester, a whisker of a chance. But for Clermont, Glasgow, Toulouse, Saracens, and Exeter, their seasons are done. I tell you what, team, round 11 is looking juicy for one factor and one factor only. The Pacific Tower are taking on the Corn Flakers' first match in round 11. Next episode will be the team naming followed up by that cracker of a game. Who's going to win that one? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but that is something worth staying up for. From the matches in the round, we'll see the Dragons take on Clermont, the All Flakes up against the Glasgow Warriors, Exeter Chiefs take on Saracens, and the Guardians will be up against the Jaguares. Ooh, that's a tasty one as well. The first match we had in the round, though, was Toulouse going down 20 points to 11 to the Crusaders, and that is why they have come further up the table. Another win on the board for the Canterbury franchise. But boy, oh boy, I tell you what, I've said a lot this uh, the episode today already, boy, oh boy, but the Toa and the Flakers, oh, get the cameras out. That one's going to be a stunner. I can't wait for that match. And that, of course, is what you have to look forward to next episode. Keep your eyes peeled for the team naming, which will be before the kickoff of the matchups. Now, if you're going to be involved in this big, big clash, it is going to be, well, it's going to be a season-defining game, isn't it, this one? Because these two sides are tussling, battling, warring over second. 
and whoever does win it will go a long way to trying to trouble the Jaguars at the top. Hope you're looking forward to that game, and I hope you've all enjoyed today's fixture. A very tussly tight win for the Guardians, but in the end, they got the job done comfortably enough. I'll see you all very, very soon. Can't wait for this next matchup. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the series, hit that thumbs up. The GRC, the subscriber series, has gone nowhere, even with the new additions of new games, other rugby going on, and the whole state of the world right now. Global Rugby Challenge kicks on for another week. I'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.